Now from Stephen, we're going to head uh, to the French Riviera for our regular update on the Cannes Film Festival. And our reporter, Florence Villeneau, is uh, joining us from there. Flo, first of all, uh, let's uh, wrap up where we are. Give us some of the highlights that we've seen so far. Well, yesterday there was the world premiere of a rising star in the French movie industry. Her name is Julia Ducourneau, and she made a lot of noise with her first feature film. That was in 2016, a film called Grave about cannibalism. Uh, so this is her sophomore film. It's called Titan. I won't give the plot away, but it's very violent, uh, kind of like a Tarantino kind of violent that can sometimes be hilarious, sometimes ridiculous, uh, love it or hate it. It definitely got people talking here, a lot of buzz around her second film. And earlier in the day, there was a premiere uh, by the very uh, well-known and respected Iranian uh, filmmaker, Asghar Fahadi. Uh, this is a film called A Hero. It's about a, a man in a debtor's prison who uh, during a two-day furlough tries and get his debt canceled so that he can get out of prison. And nothing goes according to plan. Of all the films I've seen in the official competition, uh, I think this might be my favorite one. I haven't seen all of them, but of the, the ones I have seen, this is my favorite. It's, uh, it's oddly hilarious at times, also dark. It's an interesting portrait of, of human nature, uh, if you will, and, and society in general. Uh, this is actually Fahadi's fourth appearance in the official competition here at Cannes, and he's seen as a serious contender for the top prize, which is the Palme d'Or. Uh, let's take a look at a, a little clip from A Hero. Yeah, it looks like an interesting film there, um, Flo. Tell us more about it and uh, what other films you might see later. You never know, they may become your favourites. <laughs> Exactly. Maybe they will be my favorites. We'll see, Stuart. A lot of suspense here at Cannes. It's going to be a busy day on the red carpet uh, as three films in the official competition. So there are 24 films in the official competition. And today, three are having their red carpet uh, events and premieres. We're going to kick it off with Red Rocket, uh, which is a film by the American director Sean Baker. It's about a washed-up porn star who returns to his small Texas hometown, uh, even though no one really wants him back. I'm going to be seeing that film this afternoon. So I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about it later. Then there's A Story of My Wife, which is a romantic drama by the Hungarian director Ildiko and Eyedi, uh, and it's starring the uh, Palme d'Or winning mm. actress uh, Lea Sedou. Lea Sedou, who is in four films it's here at Cannes this year. Uh, unfortunately, she uh, tested oh positive uh, to COVID-19, so she's been unable to attend uh, some of those Excuse red, red carpet wife. events. We'll see if she can uh, be on the red carpet later today. Uh, this film serious. is about a sea captain who makes a bet uh, with a friend uh, in a cafe that he'll marry the first woman who enters the place. So that's definitely going to be a recipe for an interesting movie. And then later tonight is uh, the highly anticipated opus uh, from a French director, uh, Jacques Audiard. It's called Olympiade. Now, he already won the Pan d'Or. Uh, this was back in 2006, uh, 2015 for his film uh, Deep Pan. This story, uh, Olympiade, is about three girls and a boy. They're friends, sometimes lovers, often both. Sounds very interesting. It's all filmed in black and white, so I'm very excited about this one, but I can't tell you more until I've seen it, which will be hopefully later this evening. Okay, thank you very much, Flo. Hopefully, Flo will tell us about them uh, tomorrow. You never know.